Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. Hi guys, it's Wilbury Jr. and I'm an actor and I love cars too. They're super cool. So I play a character called Finn. He's a super fun, energetic, uh, 13-year-old kid. He's super sweet and he definitely likes to have fun. He's a really, really great person. He is such a sweet inside and he's really funny too. And he could not be funny without the amazing writers. So I just want to say thank you so much to the writers for being so amazing and making Finn such an amazing character. I mean, really, this show would not be the same without the cast and crew. Everyone on set is just so nice. We all get along amazingly and you can't say that about every show and that's what I love so much about ours is that we're all really great friends on and off set like now because of COVID we aren't allowed to hang out with each other off of set like we used to a few years ago but we still really like to have some good times COVID safe. Okay, so Jesse, here's a little inside secret. Jesse is and was one of my favorite shows ever. I still love it to this day. It is my favorite Disney show ever, of course, besides from Bunked. I find it so funny, and the writers did amazing on that too. And it is just such a great show. And when I got the audition for Bunked, which is the spinoff of Jesse, I was just so excited. And to have that even opportunity to audition for a role on one of my favorite TV shows was just truly, truly awesome, an awesome experience. And I enjoy every single minute of it. Yeah, I mean, really, it was kind of one of the craziest experiences. It's just so surreal thinking back to it. And I remember um, I was in LA for one week. Um, It was around pilot season. And Um, My mom and I, we went on a little vacation, just the two of us, just to kind of get away from our typical scenery. And I remember I got an in-person audition and I hadn't done too many in-person auditions before because I lived in Atlanta and all of them were in LA. So I was super nervous for that. And then I remember walking in, all the producers were super sweet and they made me feel super comfortable and welcome. And I remember I sang all my lines and I stuttered on one and then I got so nervous about it. But then we went to the callback and they really liked that. After the callbacks, then we went to testing. And testing is where you really just um, go up against, shall I say, like three or four other kids that may look similar to you. They just really want to test your chemistry with other people on the cast. So that's what we did. And that was the first time I met Miranda May and Karn Brar in person. And I was so nervous. I was like, like every single time they'd say hi and they'd say, how are you? I'd be like, hi, hi. I would just say hi the whole time. Uh, thinking back to it, I would probably be like, oh, is he okay? But it was, it was so much fun. And then I remember when we were on the flight ride back home, back to go to Atlanta from LA, um, we got the email. And when we came home, my dad and my sister, they had, they opened the door for us and they had balloons and a key lime pie, which is one of my favorite type of types of pies. And it was just, it was truly one of the greatest days of my life. I mean, being a part of the Disney family is truly amazing. Um, we are again, just like us on Bunked, except even bigger, one big, huge Disney family. All of the shows, we all just really get along amazingly. And we'll do like little mindfulness classes all together. And they're super fun. And it's super great to catch up with each other because now, of course, because of COVID, we can't hang out with each other as much. But even on Zoom, it's still super fun to see all of us all in one room on a screen together. It's super cool. Okay, so one of my favorite episodes by far is definitely, I don't know how much I can say. So basically we had this marble racing episode and 
I was the announcer for it and it was super fun, super fast paced because I had to announce what the marbles were doing as they were doing it. And it was super quick and there was so much energy, bright lights, everyone jumping up and down. It was just crazy. It was super fun. And it was definitely one of the biggest episodes that I've shot. It was super cool. I have like, really, I, I'm, t I'm, this is, this is truly, I have no idea. Um, we probably won't know until, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, fingers crossed, maybe, but I mean, we'll just have to see what all of you guys think of the show. And I don't know, we'll go from there. Right now, really my main focus is just bunked. I'm also starting to get into TikTok and I'm going to start uploading some more videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I've started kind of a little car reviewing type YouTube channel and I love filming those videos and it's super fun. It's a no production, like super low, like budget. Um, it's very um, unprofessional, but it's so much fun to film and a lot of times I'll either film with my parents' cars or like rental cars or something like that, but it's still super fun to do. And I really, I really enjoy it. It is Will Bowie Jr. Um, uh, all lower cases, no spacing. It is just Will and then B-U-I-E Jr. It's the same as my Instagram. Yeah. And my TikTok, which has been shown an incredible amount of support recently i just want to say thank you guys so much for that um it is will buoy i'm gonna try and post every day now so i can get more of a rhythm to it and and we'll we'll, we'll see where that takes us yeah actually my very first project was shot in georgia part of it was in atlanta and then the other part was in savannah but um i remember i shot it with mckenna grace it was this movie called gifted and it was super cool because after set i would just get to go back to my actual home and see my family because normally i would just either go to like my apartment or hotel and it was super cool. I really liked, um, I really liked that. And it's super fun filming in my hometown and I get to like show my castmates like around cause I know the city so well. I mean, probably one of my dream jobs would be involving acting in cars for sure. Um, doing a show like the grand tour. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's basically this car show of these three guys and they go all around the world in um, some amazing cars like Bentleys, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bugattis. It's truly crazy because um, one of the things that I'm really going to highlight in my life when I'm on my own is travel because I really think that that's such an important part of life. Um, learning about different cultures and doing that while I'm in some of the coolest cars ever while I'm acting is just seems like one of the most fun and exciting things I could ever do. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have shown me. Um, you guys have really gotten me to where I am today and I could not have done it without you. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching The Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.